Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Pantheon jungle here in preseason 13. For your best runes possible, run Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity with Coup de Grasse, Reboots, Cosmic, Double AD, and Armor. If the enemy team has a front line, you should definitely go for a Bork Rush. Bork is insane on Pantheon because of the on hit off of your empowered stun. You get to hit them three times with an on hit effect, which includes Bork. So in this case, they have a pretty big front line, the Braum and Alawi. So this game, it definitely makes sense to go for Bork Rush. If they don't have a huge front line, instead, Instead, you can focus more on things like Eclipse Rush or even Umbral Glaive Rush. If we're ahead, in fact, we would actually go for an Umbral. Umbral is pretty high win rate on Pantheon. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be looking for items like Bork, Eclipse, Maw, Umbral, even Death Stance Black Cleaver. Probably will need a Death Stance. Hit him with the Q auto attack. For some reason, AD carries isn't leashing. Pantheon Q does do a little bit more against monsters by five percent which is something but uh he's an okay jungler as long as you position properly you can find some high value your q is crit once the target's below 20 percent health you generally want to get your e level two and you normally want to just empowered q the monsters on multi-target camps You want to wipe out the whole camp if you don't you won't get level three off of three camps you might be wondering why go green jungle item green jungle item is the best by far for pantheon the red one just doesn't keep him alive a lot of the times you don't want to have to build tenacity on him anyways to where if you don't take green jungle item to get that free tenacity it puts you in a really bad spot we get the big crit now we have w gonna be looking for a q max first e max and a w max Auto Q, Auto W. You can empower W. That's your best move against single target monster camps. But against multi camps, I think Q is still the way to go. Empowered. Either way. Auto attack W. We stun him out of his auto attack. Auto attack Q. We put in that last auto to get the empowerment for the extra damage. We'll go ahead and smite this. I want to try to get the crit like we got there. Auto attack W, auto attack QE. We just canceled one of his autos with a stun and then blocked the other auto with E. Not bad. And you should be able to run with Leash on Pantheon. A clear that is faster than 330, which means you'll be ready in time to fight for Scuttle Crab like we are here. Scuttle spawns in at 330. You don't have to do a full clear by any means. I just decided to this game. Auto attack Q, auto attack E. She's going to have to flash or she'll die. Which, I'm happy with that trade. We get her flash. She gets our ghost. But guess what? Ghost is a two-minute shorter cooldown than flash. So, more than happy to make that trade. Take her off of the map. And now we get free double scuttle. The power of pressuring and advantage. Then cue that and cross over. You don't generally want people to see you when you cross over. In this case, it doesn't matter. They can't do anything about it. We put Evelyn in a bad spot and their bot lane doesn't have the prior to just heavy dump on me here. Q auto empower W here to get our passive up faster. I would like to try to gank bot. <clears throat> Could potentially invade the Evelyn. Evelyn has a positive winner against Pantheon. I believe it was somewhere around a 55% winner against Panth. Pantheon definitely needs to get the ball rolling. If you don't start to get the ball rolling on Pantheon, you can definitely struggle. Uh, you know what? I kind of do want to go Umbral Rush. We have the perfect amount of gold to just swing a triple longsword instead of going for a Bork purchase for just a recurve bow. I'd rather have triple longsword here, honestly. E rush bot side. She's not going to be able to make that work. She has her Dark Sill boots. We are running free boots. She's probably going to Gathering Storm Absolute Focus. It's a shame that Pantheon Empowered E isn't extra damage. It's just extra movement speed. That's why against monsters, you try not to Empowered E. Pretty much always Empowered W against single target camps. And against multi-targets, it's Empowered Q. Evelyn swings back around for the gank. I'll invade her jungle here. Need to invade it. Punisher. 
that she's going to be ganking bot like that. Thresh gets his aftershock in, gets the CC on underneath turret. And Cannon Minion nearly killed Braum there. It only needed a few more hits. Victor's trying to cut us off. I think he saw us there. I'm actually not sure if he did or if he's just baiting it. It's just his positioning is kind of weird there. Hopefully we can get her... Her Krugs as well. That's the goal. Haven't really been able to find a proper gank yet. Not every gank is going to be successful. If you do come up behind them, they generally are successful. There's just no one to really come up behind at the moment. Caitlyn does seem to be pushing with that being said. All right, let's get out of here. Eve's about to walk into us. She's not going to have her flash. I don't know. She might be going to the right side of her jungle. It looks like she is. She wasn't going to come over here anyways. Could go for a ladder. She's level 6. I think we'd be better off leaving her alone. We'll grab level 6 ourselves here on Gromp. Lead in with an auto W. Q auto. Back and into Empower Q to auto E. Don't want to waste an Empower E. Just for movement speed against monsters is pretty useless. Um, yeah, now that we have R, once again, we don't want to gank a Lowey. We'll let her be. I'd say Drag Souls are win con this game. Both teams are very team, team fight heavy. Even with Scion these days, Scion isn't a very good split pusher. He does 60% less damage. Against turrets when he's in his zombie form. Yeah, this is looking like a good gank. This is gonna this is looking highly successful. Get the jump on her. Do a smite E. Shred him down. Sucks for the Evelyn there. Should be free dragon. She's probably gonna hit six. If my botley doesn't want to stay, then I won't be able to do the dragon at all. Oh, it's warded as well. Yeah, she's six. Uh, yeah, this is bad. So the reason why drag's bad here is I'm already missing health. We don't have mid prio necessarily. And I haven't spent gold yet. So even though we did just get a bunch of gold from a double. I did, dude, just run. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, dude. Kind of just need to buy my items. I'm going to get her R. Yep. There it is. Could empower E for the speed up. Don't really need to here. Would like to stay. I don't think I can. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Feels like too much, to be honest. I do want to go back and spend my gold. Can't really find that opportunity here. Evelyn can't take that dragon comfortably. If she starts it, it's going to be super risky for her. Can back and get a huge purchase. We could rush Kempunk Chainsaw if we wanted to. They don't have that much self-healing, so I'm not going to bother. Instead, I would rather go for Umbral. We'll push Umbral into Eclipse. The team's squishy enough to still get really good value out of that. Cancel our E, get the speed up. 60% for 1.5, kind of interesting. There's a chance she still goes for it. I mean, man, if, if Thresh would get a ward on it here. I can't believe it was control warded just a second before we wanted to start it. People don't normally leave a control ward on Dragon that early into the game. I'll attack W. I'll attack Q. And then we'll pull it out. We can finish it off with another Q. We don't have to stand there and wait for it. Q to come back up. Same thing with these. R is going to be up here in a moment. My ghost is on cooldown. I don't have boots yet. That is one downside of going for the free boots. If you do end up being kind of delayed by not getting many kills or assists, then you just won't have boots. 
But I have boots now, so. We're gonna kill him. He's below 20% health. We can get our Q, Q crit on him pretty quickly. Might have to spear chunk him here. Hey, friend. Oh, we critted and he didn't die. We got his flash. Oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know. Evelyn's in the general area. My AD carry died somehow. They don't seem to be on dragon. All R for this. They're being greedy. Their W, Q, auto into E. Smite Q, down she goes. And my conqueror is full stack here. I'm going to Q him to keep it up. He must have flash. Yeah, he's got flash. All right, let's just start the dragon. That's fine. Pretty slow paced game overall, I'd say. Evelyn's getting all the gold on their team. Hate to see that. Got it. One tap it. Hey, friend. Get him with the stun. Q, auto attack in the E. Cancel the E. Whenever your E ends or if you cancel it, you get that sweet, sweet bonus damage. Got it. Missed my smite, so Thresh got the last hit. That's kind of funny. Just going to keep playing for the win con, which is Dragon Soul. Every time our R is up, we want to try to look to gain bot since our R is AoE damage and an AoE slow. Trying to reduce some damage I'm taking here. Seria isn't warded. Umbral will tell you if a ward can see you. Umbral's kind of sick. This key will crit it. I don't want to use it though, because I don't want to burn passive. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> there is really a word there. Yeah, Victor's way out of position. We saw him a while ago. But Felios is equally out of position. Dude, zero, zero and four. That's rough. I'm gonna cancel E for the speed up. I don't want to deal with the Evelyn there. Sure enough, Evelyn gets on the Lux. She doesn't kill with the R. I don't know if I can even necessarily fight Evelyn right now. I'm missing a lot of health. <clears throat> I gotta pull back and cancel this. This is way too much. Gotta get out of here. <clears throat> didn't realize Victor still had R. That's rough. Oh my god. Don't know where the Eve's at. Don't want to find out. She might have just reset. I have my E up. Just got to keep my eyes open for her. However, Cursor get ready to block with shield. Sick. Alright. Let's go for... I'd honestly say plated this game. Plated makes more sense. I can block all of E burst with shield. Victor burst with shield. The Caitlyn, however, is going to be constantly auto attacking us. I don't really trust Scion here. Ganking Lao is really, really difficult as a melee champion. Because she'll soul pull and then wreck you both at once. We still have more CS than Evelyn. I'm really happy about that. Go and smite it. I want the Q crits. Your Q is AoE damage as well. Keep pulling it out and keep moving. Q into E. And then we can just pull it out. Get them big crits. It's a nice thing about going <clears throat> super AD heavy early. Is it speeds up your clears, which is kind of where Pantheon struggles a bit. His clear speeds aren't particularly fast. Wow, this is actually warded. I'm hoping Eve isn't here. That would really suck. We get the stun on her. QE. Eve couldn't get to us because I'm on Ghost. Oh, Victor's here, though. We hit him with our smite to slow him down. Aphelios goes all in. 
They have four people bot side right now. That is a lot of uh, pressure. A lot, a lot of pressure. We have control word in that brush. I don't think Evelyn can sneak up on us here. It would take her a while to do so. I can save shield for her too. She may not even realize that our red buff was up is the thing. Her red buff's up. I'm going to go take advantage of that. I have no clue why Thresh decided to roam topside there. I really hate ganking, and then it turns out it's not a gank. After I pressed R, I realized he wasn't even bot side at that moment. No word has seen us, otherwise Umbral would have gone off. Could potentially go around for the Caitlyn. She's full HP and has uh, Gale Force, though, so just one of those things. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to stun. We finished our jungle item around 15 minute mark. Having that extra shield is nice, so I don't have to waste my E. I can save it. Save with my stun there. Just take the camp with autos and Qs since I'm in enemy territory. That was sick. Nice. It's definitely time to go for dragon. Go ahead and cancel that. We'll pull out. Caitlyn's dead. This is a free dragon opportunity. On Pantheon, if you want to win, you have to try to build leads early, and you have to play smart. If you're constantly getting a kill and dying, getting a kill and dying, you're going to get outscaled by tank junglers. Things like Trundle, or even a Warwick, Zach Ramis, Zin Zhao, super straightforward, bruisery, tanky champions are going to outscale you. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. I think there's a ward in here. Ooh, two shot it. Thank you for the ward, bud. Appreciate you. Not sure what Eve is. I assume she's on her bot side here, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave and get Eclipse. This, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so annoying. <clears throat> Brom's actually still over here for some reason. Prowling for vision. I'm dead. She played that well. <clears throat> she played that well. She got him behind us. Our E gave zero value. If we had used our shield in the opposite direction, she would have obviously still applied all of her damage. <clears throat> what you saw there is exactly why Pantheon has a really bad win rate against Evelyn. Because no matter how she plays it, if she has rocket belt up, she can always get in behind you and drop all of her damage on top of your head. We got to go for Ma this game. Sucks giving Evelyn all that gold. At least we have dragon advantage. Hey, friend. Oh, I got nothing out of it. Feels bad. I don't think she can solo us if we have Hex Drinker. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's twice now. A ward sees us, and then it's just about to die anyways. He has less than two seconds of life left. His final job was to waste our umbral. I don't think she can kill us here. Got a little bit of magic resist now to counteract her Sork Shoes. Cyan's getting really tanky. Really, really tanky. Oh, rip. Didn't pinch. Did Braum actually get that? We get the stun. And the QE. Cancel the E on his head. And down he goes. I also have a full stack conked here. Where's Evelyn coming from, dude? She's over here somewhere. I wonder if that charm was just to scare us away. The four man stack top again. This game, how they four stack man bot. These guys keep grouping up super heavy. Wait, is this Philios actually thinks he gets blue buff? Oh, wait, maybe he's just leashing. That was weird, though. Very strange. Maybe he needs the gold. 
We get more experience from this than he does because we have jungle item to where we kind of need it. Who's he going for? He's going for the Alawi. We get the stun, auto attack Q, down she goes. I was waiting. We had, I was just timing it for our CC to go in as Scion CC was ending. And uh, we're also trying to mitigate how much Alawi was going to heal off of us with her tentacles. So that was the reason for the spacing. Pull out off of this. Why in the world is Victor even over here? I thought he was in bot side. Would rather go for the Evelyn. Didn't have that choice. She doesn't have Mez yet either, so even if we killed her, we'd scrape four or five Dark Seal stacks. Caitlyn was up a little bit farther. Ooh, free raptors. Don't mind if I do. I love free wraps. Dragon's coming up in 30. We want to make sure we're alive for that. I think Evelyn reset. She would have seen me by now and her teammates would be rotating. If she was over here. Makes this relatively safe. I would like to not give up Dragon. Feels like a huge mistake. Team's backing right as it's coming up. The enemies aren't hyper grouping on it there. That was their moment. If we get Drag Soul, it's going to be so hard for them to win. Because we have a Felio scaling, Lux scaling, Scion scaling. We have some really strong scalers. Can one tap all of these control where it takes two it's got four health a one tap that's why umbral is so nice the item itself gives good stats even if it didn't have the passive it would still be an okay item because it's so inexpensive i don't know why we're hooking brom we got him with our smite I'm gonna run you down, bud. Got him. Evelyn's on the other side of us. His R lasts for 10 years. Holy crap. His R actually lasts forever. Got it. That drag was super important. Kate kind of rage split pushed there. I don't think she would have been able to do much anyways. Still not so sure where the Evelyn is. Look at that healing off Eclipse and jungle item. Already back to full. I really don't think she can kill us anymore. We need a just a tiny bit of magic resist. And Eclipse gives us a little bit of tankiness. Could go for her blue buff here. I'll oh, I have a portal. I didn't even need to R. I'm trolling. Didn't even see the portal at first. I guess I should probably leave. This is a dangerous place to stay in. They know we're over here because the ward. Sitting on a full maw. So much AD, magic resist, ability haste. Plus, on top of that, when the lifeline kicks in, you get the massive shield plus 10% omni vamp. Which is kind of cool. Let's say we go for black cleaver from here. Or even QSS. QSS would be really, really good. Because if we can... QSS Eve Charm, she'll literally never be able to kill us ever. Never, ever. Because then we can always shield her off. The charm slows us down and pulls us back into her to where she can easily get behind us while we're trying to block her damage. She's us in the back and we'll end up shielding the wrong way because she's so fast with the rocket belt. All we need to do is stay alive and don't throw a shutdown gold. I'll attack W, I'll attack E. She panicked. She panicked a little bit. He panicked too. He should have stayed on top of me better. I was on cooldowns. 
Nice try, Eve. I'm on my shield, though. Yeah, nice try, bud. I have Ma. He's not going to be able to pinch that. They might keep chasing me. I'll leave the control word there. Hopefully, that should be able to see her. Victor threw all of his abilities on us. Even though he's farmed pretty well. It didn't do much damage because I have a lot of magic resist on the Ma. Him and the Evelyn couldn't really do much to us. Hey, friend. Spear shot. You never charge it ever unless you have to. It doesn't do any more damage and it puts it on full cooldown rather than 60% shorter cooldown. That's why on Pantheon you almost never. You only charge it out of desperation. We can't finish the game. At best, we'd get a turret and then all die. Evan loses some Dark Seal stacks. That's very good. We didn't give away our shutdown gold. Big stuff. I'll chill out right here. I don't want Evelyn to be able to see me. If she can see Thresh from there, she can't see me because I'm behind the wall. You have to stun. I'll attack Q into the E. Down she goes. She couldn't heal up because she wasn't hitting me because my shield. She wasn't actually healing off of us. So she's only healing off the Thresh there. My passive's on a cooldown. Let's go ahead and get it back up. And now we have it back up. You can snap Caitlyn really fast. Draxel is the win con. It's all we need. Hextech Drake Soul. Lux is way, way, way out of position. What is she doing? She's just solo fighting them on a broken inhib. That's very peculiar positioning. Red buffs up. I'll help myself with that. Scion's way out of position. For some reason, <laughs> all we need to do is play for drag. We don't have to do anything special here. Just play for drag soul. Oh no, she landed it. Psych. Pantheon has pretty good base moves, be at 345. It's a fast champ. They're pushing out. Obviously, they want drag soul. Want to stop us from getting Drag Soul? For them, it's only their first dragon. Cancel the E immediately. If we're trying to maximize damage output, I'm not worried about blocking damage. Just cancel the E because once it ends or once you cancel it, it does twice as much damage as like the full channel aspect. And that's Drag Soul. You're dead. Q, cancel the E. One tap that. It'd be cool if we could one-tap the tentacles. Those don't count as vision, I suppose. One-tap these. Lux lands her slow. Uh, yeah, I can't really close in on that. Lux is about to solo kill her. <laughs> she has the Draxel. Eve's missing. Did she rage quit? I don't know if she did. Nope, she did not rage quit. She's still in the game. Scion gets the turret. That's good. Now we just need this turret push, and then we could even play for Baron. Preferably not Baron because of Eve flash R smite combo. At the very least, we could pressure it and force them to stop hiding. Their only win con is to drag this out super late to where Caitlyn's gathering storm and Eve's gathering storm. Can get some really high value at the same time. I think Ophelios went gathering storm. Oh, hey, hey, Evelyn. Got her with the smite jump. Q auto attack E, cancel the E. Could not finish her off. We could have charged and thrown it at her. It, was a, it would have been a blind throw, though. At least we got our R.
Nice, nice, nice. Sitting on a full item at the moment. Very tempting to reset. All are in for this. I'm hoping Scion finishes the turret. Don't be on to her face. Q auto attack into the E. She dodged the E explosion, but I mean, she's running towards death by doing that. We sneer, spear snipe him, get the crit. Should be GG's. I don't think they can hold here. Allow is the biggest, uh, gonna be the biggest issue trying to end. She's playing very defensive. She's looking for a soul pull right now. Oh, she's dead. Give her the stun. <laughs> w auto Q. That's GG's. Pantheon's all about temple, all about not dying. Taking advantage of the fact that he's immune to damage with his E out. And that is GG's. Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, we were towards the upper part of the pack. And for self mitigated, we were the second highest self mitigated in the game, primarily because of Pantheon E. For runes, high value. Pantheon, he's a lot of fun. If you play him right, you can definitely carry games on him and catch some easy dubs. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.